All righty. We're going to get right into it here. Hulk versus Pandas. Uh, Faust versus Zato. I have not really watched much of this matchup in particular. Oh, I feel I like this. this is this is one of Faust's like three winning matchups. <laughs> so, yeah, I imagine he probably really deals with uh, dealing with these items. But Faust is also still Faust, so this is by no means free. But starting it with that command grab, this is you're not getting out of this. Yeah, I like that OTG into the safe jump uh, set up there. It's the Afro Explosion, already massive health lead. Goes for the instant overhead. That was going to lead to death. Bit of a hero burst. Oh, slipping on the banana peel, and that kills Eddie. <laughs> oh, I like the idea of the air throw, but maybe Pandas was just all the way on the ground already. Second banana peel slipped that round. <laughs> And then that last interaction there, that's Faust 101, right? You put the item on the screen and then you try and tap the ground for when they try to go and get it before you do. Just control the space. Very well done to close out the round by Hoke. Going for the triple overhead there. Nobody blocks the third. Yeah, scary pressure getting started up. Invite Hell to create some oh, plus frames with Eddie. Okay, but a back throw here. And now Hope gets to take their turn and do Faust things in this corner. They're going to look for this command grab here, but getting reset to neutral off the wire is see. No Eddie, though, <laughs> in the worst possible scenario, but they managed to deal with getting the trumpet there. I think there should have been a possible punish attempt, or there, I think there could have been rather a possible punish attempt on that Scarecrow to get the trumpet, but Pandas was not able to snipe it out, and now really stuck in the corner, taking a lot of damage, no guts, Sato. Very that classic health bar. Taking out. Ooh. I think he died here with the RC. Killing, oh. killing the frog, that's why they call him Zodom 1. They don't even need the RC. That was great stuff going into the command grab there. Very quick game, all things considered, for Hulk. Yeah, that's both these characters. I, I think. Hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to lie. Let me check. But I'm pretty sure Faust has zero guts. Yeah. Is that true? Both these characters have zero guts. So <laughs> okay. this is going to be a a quick one either way. And for Zato sure. being one of the higher damage characters too. Yeah, 100%, especially when you get the right starter, the right setup. Zato really just, like, eliminates life bars. The game keeps kicking me out of spectate. I don't know what the issue is. But I'm going to watch through the stream. 2K2D forcing Pandas already to burst. Using that oppose here. Have to be careful about that bomb. It does kill Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Ooh, the hammer! Letting Hoke get back into this game. And that is plus if you air block it. Yeah, the hammer is so clutch there. Oh, no, mix, mix, mix. If you air block that, it's plus. It's plus, despite not being plus normally. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh this is getting crushed by stuff, and Ooh. enough stray hits pay off into the super. You know, when the game came out, the super did not break wall. I remember that. Everybody was so upset about that. Honestly, it was like the only one that didn't do that, other than like HPB. Ooh. Okay. Anti air harpoon. Light here. Oh man, little mini Zato trying to get through a pose, no such luck. The command grab. grab there. Gonna fully refill Eddie there. That's a nice big advantage. Not only just the damage and like what normally you get from getting a command grab, you get all of that Eddie gauge back. And now a wall splat combo into the super hard knockdown. Gonna set up Pierce, I would assume. Yes, sir. Even pulling out Eddie beforehand. Save a little bit of that Eddie meter, but the wire I see there. The invite hell. Interesting trade. Yeah, that trade actually working out great for Hope. Gave him a lot of breathing room. Gets away with a command grab. Now set up with the air or the afro on fire. Wires. Yeah, there's a wire. Seat. See, to be so scared of that command grab always because it's such a strong win condition for Faust. Oh, but using a pose into the banana peel, but isn't able to confirm that. I think the banana peel kind of messed up Pandas' combo there, but nice little entry jump there. The banana peel. I don't think the starter was good enough. I think oh, okay. they're just going to try and go into pressure. Okay, hammer goes out. Not going to be able to do much about a pose, though. Oh, little homie! Little homie! Mini Fox is so strong. Oh, nice hit with the dust. I like the burst to keep the position, though. Very it's smart idea. Block these dusts, but they are pretty hard to block anyway. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough mix-up. Nice catch on the back dash. In the back dash, but drops it anyway. I think he was trying to bait first. Yeah. There we go now. Bursts are off the table for both players here. Pandas with a sizable meter advantage. Going to spend it on some more pressure in the corner. Meaty Pierce, meaty uh, invite hell. Oh, misses the command grab. That JP thing that Pandas just did is way harder than it looks to time that. I've practiced that a good bit. That's hard. 
this should be dead here. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Mix, mix, mix. But doesn't block the second hit of the 2K. Yeah. Really strong there from Hoke. Very well done. Going into this game, going back into the game though, Pandas is back. And oh, getting caught by that scalpel pull. Yeah, that is a rough early burst because now you've set yourself up for a bad position. Does get away from the 2S. Kind of back to neutral here though. Nice anti-air. a huge combo here. 5k is Faust's best starter because it lets him get these uh, weird air combos. Yeah, especially on airborne hit there. Very good starter. There, though. So nice call out from Pandas there. But the YRC from Hoke and now Pandas with no eddy meter gets caught on the back Ooh. dash. Nice stuff with the uh, mix, mix, mix there. Good catch. Already mix, one mix, round mix. away. Good hit. Jailing you or keeping yeah. keeping you in one spot. Nice use of the pose here. I'm getting okay. the trumpet. Getting caught with the uh, strike part of the oppose. Oh my wow. god, another overhead hits a counter hit. Gonna block this time. Blocking the overhead again. Maybe command grab is coming. No, goes for the strike again. Resetting with the pressure. Nice defense here from Hope. Getting caught by the low. Yeah, it's always the lows that get you whenever you fight Zato. It's never the the like triple overheads. I <laughs> really, uh... And then you'll get hit by a 2k. <laughs> right. I really like the patience from Hope there in the corner, finally finding their opportunity to play the game. However, Pandas has reset the opportunity once more, goes for the command grab, does not land it, but the 6p returning into the corner. This is going to be a round for sure. I like the holding of the burst there. You got a round up, no need to use it. Go into the next one with it. Smart idea. That's also a super obvious burst bait there, too, because yeah. it's so safe to do. Oh, that doesn't work. Really? <laughs> oh, good job jabbing out the thrust. There's a nice burst there. Not really a situation where Pandas can burst and keep a combo going, so that's kind of all you need when you're playing against Zato. Oh, okay. The bomb actually kind of screwing over Hoke here. The item's betraying him. There's that it's overhead, the and this is a wall break with the sword, so now Hoke has to block all of this pressure. Yeah, Meaty Pierce coming again, of course, that's the Zato classic, and then the drill sets up more corner pressure, the overhead should kill. And now Pandas is not going down without a fight on the board, 1-2. to 100% of the time. Oh my god, I'm spectating the game, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, back into it. Uh, Hoke is up two to one versus Pandas. As a reminder, right now though, Pandas got a great start in the corner, already breaking the wall, getting fifty percent. Fifty percent done, yeah. And oh, the two H though, and the meteors, and you're you're not blocking that. <laughs> That's first safe. Eddie got sniped. Good job using BRC to secure a punish though. Even though you don't have Eddie, it's not the biggest punish in the world, but still, that gives you the opportunity. To set up corner pressure like this, oppose planning a big hit. OTG sword getting the reset. Ooh, missing the command grab. Ooh, but oppose. <laughs> yeah, covering the whiff there. Gets a nice counter hit through the wall. One round to tie the game up. Nice anti with 2K. We into the, the corner GK there. Nice blocking here from Pandas, but Mini Faust is out and the command grab happens. There's practically nothing you can do about that. Oh, instant overhead counter hit, lights the Ephra on fire, gets a lot of damage, reset to not go through the wall. Here's the 2D, but not able to use the super there, so not going to get the knockdown. Not the worst thing in the world. I was about to say, you do get the opportunity to PRC in neutral instead and get that last hit you need. And there Here it is. This is actually so messed up. Like, it is crazy, yeah. It's so good. Oh, that 2S hits. That's crazy. All right. Pandas on the front foot here, but now the burst, trying to even things up the homie again. Not going to get command grab this time. Nice catch on the back dash. This block string. There's not much you can do about this. All the way, corner to corner here. Nice 60. 60 though. Hope getting a little too comfortable with the jumping, and there's that JD cross up. Into oh my god, look at the pickup from mid screen. He took that, got the 2S in the corner, and gets a hard knockdown with a positive bonus. It's looking like he might be able to tie the game up here. Hoke has to be very careful about how they play in the corner. Red RC. Oh, just barely getting on the ground, but the RC there. And Pandas having this meter. Oh, nice job using BRC to go over the 2P. Gets the round there, and now 2-2. Two to two. I thought they were still in that combo, so they weren't even close to ready to block that tap dust. Yeah. And Pandas evening it out here. After maybe getting a reverse sweep. <laughs>
Possibly two to two, tied up. Anybody's game here. Yeah, like I was saying before, it was some it was some good offensive play from Pandas earlier. It was just Hoke was getting away with a lot of like command grab after the bomb or the little homie post was on the screen. So now that we've seen him kind of a lot of uh, a lot less mini Fausts. Yeah, which... I mean, yeah, the item luck has not been as good either. Yeah, but that's what you get when you play Faust. Ooh, getting caught by that overhead there. That's hard to block because Faust or Zato can land so fast after that. And oh wow! Bait. That was a great safe jump to bait the burst. Gets the 2K. Super. Not gonna go for Amorphous. Gonna go for the uh, the sword instead. Set up another meaty pierce. Yeah, I don't think Amorphous would have killed there. So who knows? He does have zero guts. Sun from a pose and a 5H to get this reset here. No command grab, but that tap dust. The RC's a little too late, but the J JS is so hard to react to. And Panda's bringing it up all the way on to match point here. Yeah, very good round from him there. Okay. Full burst advantage, gets the opposed to hit. Big nice gravity. There. That's a tough one. Yeah, the gravity scaling is so good off of the charge dust there in a combo like that. The RC goes over again. We saw that last uh, game before this one. Great punish. And the flight here from Pandas is just crazy. That is it. The round. Yeah, there you go. The game, the set. Two, two perfects? Double perfecting on the last one. Crazy performance there from Pandas with the reverse sweep. Pandas had the download. He got the information he needed. The scouter got it all done for him.